everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Tamiya with another speed build for you all. Today we are building a little city in Venice, Italy. Um, it is something that is very new to me and to the channel, so yay. This video is part one of a three part series, so that is very exciting because yes, it is my first series. Um, you all probably know that I am kind of new to YouTube and Sims 4 speed builds. Um, but I've really been figuring it out these past few weeks during the summer break. Um, and I know it has been forever since my last video and I apologize for that. Um, I've just been really busy and this new series has really driven me insane, let me just be honest. But I'm excited. Um, I have taken down my last video which was actually kind of this video. Um, I just, I didn't feel like I had given it my all, and it was probably like a 3 star video out of 5, so I just wanted to fix that and make it a 5. So I really, really hope you enjoy watching this build, and I hope you are as excited as I am for the new series. I have been working all week on it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the final product. Um, as I wake my way through this build, I do want to tell you a little bit about each building I am building. <laughs> I just said building a lot. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there's going to be a total of seven buildings, and most of them are shops or, well, shop houses, because the sim that works there and sells there will also be living in the top floor, so that is pretty sweet. Um, as you can see, I have started on making the builds, or the houses, um, and I guess uh, why it is new to my channel is because I've never done a full, like, city, I guess. I've never done, like, a, you know, different buildings all in the same lot. Um, I know that these technically cannot be shops because I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't think you can sell in The Sims 4. Maybe you can with like that one get to work update, um, I, or not update, but expansion pack, I have no idea. I have not gotten it yet, so I don't know how it works yet. But um, I just gave the illusion that these are shops with the way I'm building them. And uh, yeah, so there are a total of seven buildings and um, some of them I haven't or actually no, just one of them. I haven't actually figured out what it's going to be yet, but you will see that one soon. Um, for the most part, I did have a plan before I created all of these houses, and the one in the middle right now, with the red door and big windows, that shop is actually a, um, I actually have the inspiration from a real shop in Venice, which was a pizza shop actually, but I am turning it into a floral shop. So that is kind of exciting, but like once you see the um, final exterior build of it, it looks just like this one shop, which I don't remember the name, but they are very identical, or as identical as it could be with The Sims 4, you know, what it has to offer. Um, but yeah, it is pretty cool, and the rest of the um, buildings, I kind of just, uh, I mean, some of them I looked off of buildings I had found on Google Maps of Venice, and then some I just kind of like had my own inspiration for them, like I just created them the way I'd want them to look, or how I would think that they look like there is a I'm going to make, and uh, I have it to look like, but uh, what I would imagine a library to look like, I created it, so yeah. But anyways, yeah, I am working on the that was an actual building in Venice right now, so you can see it, and it looks really nice, and I was happy with the way this building turned out. Um, and actually this building is what ha gave me the inspiration, or no, not really. A painting in my sister's room is what gave me inspiration to do Venice build, but then I was just going to create one building, but then I decided to change it up and just do a whole entire city. So I am doing a little city in Venice. Um, it is a 30 by 40 lot, so it isn't like the biggest lot that you can find in Sims 4, but um, it does fit seven <laughs> buildings, so that is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, each of the shops are all unique, and uh, I am not using any mods, and also, I <laughs> you know, like, main, um, but yeah, so for the extra build, the bling, I didn't really and do all the landscaping, as I did that off camera, and um, it was just building, like, the entire video itself took like three hours to record. So I just went ahead and did the landscaping off camera so that it wasn't like a super long sit through, I guess. But um, this video actually only turned out to be like 22 minutes. So that wasn't too bad. So I probably could have made the landscaping. And I actually probably will in the future because um, I've actually been um, watching other people's uh, series and how they create them because, uh, well, I don't know. I just wanted to get an idea of how it worked and I've never done it before. So 
Um, yeah, I've been watching other people, and I think that they do do the landscaping, or at least, actually, mostly, honestly, I've been watching Freezer Bunny, and his videos are, like, insane. Like, he gives me inspiration to create uh, builds in the future. Like, I don't know. The way he, like, decorates the inside of the houses just make it so nice. Yeah, I have not gotten to the expertise, but I wish I could have, but that is alright. Um, but yeah, so. Anyway, so yeah, I did just create the hotel. <laughs> I've been talking, so I forgot to, like, tell you what it is. Um, it is, like, a little hotel, uh, and I get that, or get to that build in a little bit. So, anyways, um... Yeah, so it is a three-part series, and I'm thinking about actually splitting part two up into a sub-series so that you can kind of go into each build with me, and um, so you don't really have to like sit for like a million hours <laughs> watching me build all of the interior. So I will split up the videos, and like you'll just go into each building, so I'll kind of like name it what the buildings are, and um... I have actually been thinking about like what I'm gonna name them. Like I know that you can't really name them because I can't like put it up on the Sims 4 Gallery as each name because you just put a whole lot up. But for my YouTube channel, I think I will just go ahead and name them, and they're probably gonna be really funny names because, um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm just gonna have fun with Google Translate and just give them some silly names, probably. Um, I mean, like this is not a legit city, like. This is just kind of, like, put together from, like, what I would want it to look like, I guess. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do any, like... I mean, I did, like, do some research on it, I guess, but, like, not to the extent where I was gonna make it all ex an exact city and, you know, like, this isn't, like, a real version, I guess, or a real copy or whatever. It's just a little pretend, um, this city, so, yeah. But... Anyways, so yes, the hotel is right here, and um, I actually have, I've already built the interior. I just am going, I haven't actually uploaded all the videos because, um, I don't know, I just got, got to this video kind of late, and so, yeah, I mean, it's just taken me a week to create, and I haven't even finished it, honestly. There is still, like, I think three more buildings that I have to go through the interior, and, um, but I have created a majority of the uh, buildings, so I am excited to go ahead and get those up. Um, I don't know how soon I can get them up, but I will be doing that all very soon, and I am excited. But yeah, so for the hotel, it is actually a lot smaller than I wished it had been. I didn't realize how small it was on the inside, so it was very difficult to make the rooms. Like, I think I recorded like four or five times over and over again just to get the stairs to work. Like, the stairs are the worst, but... Yeah, so anyways, so this building is actually going to be the library that I was just mentioning earlier, so I don't know what the Venice libraries look like, but this is the library that I just decided to make because, I don't know, I think it looks very library-ish, and um, yeah, it, it's kind of like an old-time library, it looks like, with like all the dark woods and stuff. I probably should have put a little bit more research into each of the, or not each of the, but like into the um, like exterior for Venice. Um, architecture but um I did not I probably should have but I did go through actually I went through Pinterest a lot and found a lot of the um like different shop inspiration stuff so I did use Pinterest which I know is not like I don't know it wasn't I guess that no it, I, don't know, I don't know it was very helpful though so yeah I got a lot of my ideas from Pinterest um but yeah, that is a library. And then the other building that I just have not mentioned at all, it's because I still don't know what it's going to be, to be honest. I was thinking it could be just like another like fancier hotel, I guess, where it's maybe a little bit more pricey to rent out for like a night or whatever. Um, but I have no idea. I don't know if it's going to be a, another hotel or not. Um, I just haven't decided. So um, if you have any ideas on what it could be, then I could definitely... I will like definitely incorporate those ideas because I really have no idea what it's going to be. So like if you want to like shoot an idea down in the comments that would be pretty sweet and just like decide what that building is going to be. Yeah. Because I have no idea. But um this building is so cute and I'm super excited. 
Um, it is a little pizza shop and I just I'm so happy with it because it just really looks like a little pizza shop. Um, I think it's just like all the red um, color so that's probably why I think pizza shop but yeah it's so cute and like I'm really excited because um, like a little old uh, Italian chef is gonna live here and also work here and it's gonna have like some really good pizza like I would love to visit it if I could but it's a sim world and I know that the pizza is not real unfortunately so um yeah but he is going to be a little old Italian man that creates good pizza and um so when your sims order pizza it's probably from here or you can just come in and eat the pizza <laughs> I don't know um but yeah I'm really excited like um, I did actually do the interior for this house already and these stairs also give me trouble too um, actually the stairs are probably going to give me trouble for every building because I did not think about that at all when I was building the exterior. So a lot of the houses or shops or buildings, um, they are all kind of like a little bit too small I guess. Um, really I just struggled the most with the hotel because I wanted to make the hotel look nice but it also needed stairs. So like I wish they would just come up with like an elevator or something. Um, and then for this, uh, the little like spot that you see that's brown. I couldn't paint it and I was like so frustrated so I kept trying to like cover it up with um, plants and it just really made me mad because um, you can't paint it, I don't understand. And also ceilings too, you can't paint ceilings, why can you not paint ceilings, I don't know. But um, yeah, so I decorated it with like little pizza flowers, like I know that they are not called pizza flowers but they look like little pizzas to me and so I just decided that that's what it's gonna be. They are going to be pizza flowers, so um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, anyways, so yeah, this is a little pizza shop that I am super happy about. Um, it is like a two-story building, and the pizza guy is going to have his own little living space, and also his own little balcony, so that'll be really kind of sweet for him. Um, and I did, yeah, whenever I was creating the um, interior, I decided that like I was gonna try to like do a kitchen but then I realized well he does have a kitchen already kind of because the whole entire kitchen is on the stairs but um yeah I'm just I yeah I probably shouldn't talk about the interior since this is an interior build so I'm just gonna talk about the exterior um the roofing the roofing I did not do actually I don't think except for the pizza shop um I did do the roofing on that one or at least like colored it different to make it look a little bit nicer um but yeah I don't know I just didn't really do anything for the roofing yet. I don't really know why. I haven't really... I mean, it wasn't that I didn't think about it. I did think about it. I just, um, I don't know. I didn't really go in and do all that yet because I didn't really... I mean, like, all the, like, roofs in Venice seem to be kind of, like, flat and you can't really create a f entirely flat roof and also it just looks kind of boring, um, if you do. So, I don't know. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with that. But, um, yeah, but I did fix the exterior, like, landscaping, um, off camera, so it doesn't stay this plain. The water right now does stay tiled, like, it is tile still, and it's, it's gonna, probably gonna stay tile until the very end, like, right before I do the grand tour of the city, because, uh, too much water does kind of, like, make the videos a little bit glitchy, so, yeah. I'm not doing that until the very end because I already have so many interiors to create that I don't know I just feel like the game will kind of be slower um, plus I am making so many videos doing all of this that like my computer has to like <laughs> hold a lot right now but okay um, yeah the little place that I just made right there with all the black and white that is going to be a little bar area which you probably know because I already put the bar in um, I guess I did like a quick interior thing. I didn't actually create the interior for that building entirely in this video, I just put the bar so I knew if it would fit or not because I was a little bit worried because it was kind of a small building but yeah I was yeah I mean I wanted to be a small building because it's just like a little like corner shop bar thing but um yeah so it is a small building where you mostly just go in and get drinks and then like go back out and then you can like hang out on um the deck up top actually. Um, that was kind of fun because I've never really, like, made a, um, building like that. I've never actually, like, put, like, a hangout space on top, so I thought that was, like, kind of, like, a neat addition. 
so that is kind of exciting. Um, and <laughs> I actually do decorate it. I guess it technically is an interior since, um, since it is the top of, like, an outside. So, like, yeah, I didn't actually do the, um, I didn't make that an interior build. So you will see me build it pretty soon. And, yeah, I was really happy with it. Um, and then right here is actually going to be a little antique shop, which, um... I don't know. I don't know if it's ever, like, I haven't actually seen it been done on, like, in all my, like, YouTube adventures of Sims 4 speed builds. Um, I have not seen an antique shop be done, even though it probably has. Um, I just haven't come across it, so it is going to be a little antique shop where you can go get, like, you know, odd, um, things that maybe you wouldn't find at a regular shop. So it's not really going to be, like, a thrift store. It's going to be, like, an antique shop. So I put, like, um... I guess statues and paintings and whatnot. Um, and I actually did create the interior for it already. And it actually kind of reminds me of um, Cracker Barrel for some reason. I have no idea why, but that's what it reminds me of. But it is not Cracker Barrel because it is much too small and does not have any of the right like equipment. <laughs> There's no kitchen in it um, because um, yeah, it's just a really, really, really small um, building. It's like a three by seven or eight I don't remember so yeah it's very small. um but it was kind of fun it's like a it's different so yeah I mean it's gonna be a bit of an odd city I think but it, it'll be cool like I think it's cool so yeah oh also I did not use any mods because um I mean I really wanted to and I was tempted to a lot but I did not create or use any mods because um well, I don't know, I just want other people to be able to download this without having to get mods because I know that can be kind of, like, not annoying, but, like, kind of, like, I don't know, it's just it would just be, like, tedious to make you go download all the different things, which, um, in my other speed builds, I have used mods, and I probably will continue to use them. I didn't want to in this specific city because I wanted to, I guess, like, try something newish. Like, not really new because I've done it before, but, like, it, yeah, I mean, it made it more of a challenge, I guess because, um, yeah, I was, like, I wasn't able to use anything for, like, these different shops, so some of the shops do, like, have similar or same furniture, um, I'm trying to create different colors inside each of them, because I don't really want to, like, make it look the same, um, but yeah, but especially for the antique shop, I really wish I could have used some mods, just because I feel like, like, I could go download some, like, odd-looking things and put it in, but I didn't, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I will have this up on the Sims 4 Gallery by, like, next week, maybe? Maybe in two weeks? I don't know. I haven't, I don't know. Um, I haven't even thought about that, honestly, but, yeah. So, anyways, here is the bar, and I am doing the outside of it and also the top, which I am super excited about because, um, I actually had gut inspiration for this from um actually a little place that I'm was where I used to live like I moved over the summer and there was like this little like not really family bar but it was kind of like a family bar um where there was like live music and um places to eat and it was just like all outside and so that's kind of what gave me the inspiration to do this because it just seemed like a good idea like it's like a little chill spot where like you can like listen to music and um it's just a good place to like spend your free time and like for this little city it's kind of like everyone's like outside rowing their boats or whatever and they just want to stop in and listen to music so i think that's pretty cool um so here is the piano which i am like so happy about like i don't know i just thought this was like really 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 neat build right here um yeah i definitely want to like create more things like this in the future like there's like a little hangout spot on top of the roof just because i think it's kind of cool but, um, yeah, so it's, like, a little, like, live music bar, so I guess, like, you can, like, talk to the bar owner and just be like, hey, can I rent the roof for, like, the night? And, um, then they'll be like, yeah, and then you can rent it and play music. And then also, just if there's, like, a pianist that happens to have a drink, they can just be like, oh, I'm gonna play the piano, and they play the piano. But, yeah, I think it's a really, really sweet, um, shop, so... Yeah, they all have different, like, feels to them, and this one I really like, 
it's just one of my favorite. I know it was very small too, but yeah, it was, yeah, I like it. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, so that's kind of how it stays. Uh, I don't really like do anything else to the outside, so I guess it does stay a little plain, but yeah, I think it's really neat. So that was kind of fun. Um, and then the pizza shop, I'm just like editing or adding or whatevering the top of his little place so that he can like come and like have a midday grill out or something. I don't know, I feel like living in a pizza shop you wouldn't want to always eat pizza so I did give him a little grill so he can make some other food and he can just like sit out here in the morning and have a coffee or whatever he chooses to do because... Yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. So, I have actually thought about the characters that I'm going to create because I actually do want to create characters for the, um, for this entire little city. So, I am thinking that I will do so. Um, I may do it. And I have thought about their names, like, these the little shops and what they'll be called. I've been thinking a lot about that while I've been building. So, yeah, I'm just really excited. And, um, yeah, I've already talked for, like, 21 minutes. So, that is kind of cool because... The video is almost over which means i can get back to more building and then have the videos up sooner so um yeah i really hope you enjoyed this speed build and i hope that you are you know excited for what is to come and um yeah i'm just really really excited so i hope you all stay with me throughout the series and you just kind of like watch and see what happens and um yeah, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video Bye.